Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to understand the prototype chain. All objects in JavaScript, with a few exceptions, have a prototype. Also, an object's prototype itself is an object. So here we've got a bird constructor. We're asking the type of bird.prototype, and it's telling us that this is an object. Um, so the prototype of bird is an object. Um, because a prototype is an object, a prototype can have its own prototype. In this case, the prototype of bird.prototype is object.prototype. Object.prototype is property of bird.prototype returns true. So this is just saying, this is a really cyclical sort of um, uh, philosophy of, you know, is the, pro is the bird an object? Bird.prototype is object, and it says object, uh, is, is object a prototype of object? Yeah, true, okay. So how is this useful? You may recall the has own property method from the previous challenge. So the, the duck is a new is a new instance. The variable duck is set to a new instance of a bird with the name Donald. And the duck has own property of name. This is true. So because the object of duck has a property of name, then that renders true. The has own property method is defined in object.prototype, which can be accessed by bird.prototype which can be asked, accessed by duck. This is an example of the prototype chain. In this prototype chain, bird is the supertype for duck, while duck is the subtype. Object is a supertype for both bird and duck. Object is a supertype for all objects in JavaScript. Therefore, any object can use the has own property method. Modify the code to show the correct prototype chain. <clears throat> Okay, um, first off, I'm just going to console log this because I like to see the answer pop up in here, as you guys probably well know. Um, your code should show that object. Op okay, object is prototype of dog. Prototype. Your code uh, should show that object.prototype is the proto of dog.prototype object dot prototype is property of dog dot prototype. Now we've got this rendering out to true. I'm gonna extend this just so it's all on one line. Hello. And uh, yeah, run the test and that should be true. Now, this is kind of weird. One thing I wanted you guys to be able to watch is go to destroyallsoftware.com talks slash what. This is a really funny thing about, it starts off with a bit of Ruby, but it's mostly about JavaScript. Um, I think that this is a really funny way to kind of get an idea for this kind of prototype and um, the way that the data structures are in these programming languages. Anyways, we run the tests and you see they pass. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.